I've been working with elders for 18 years, um, predominantly as an agronomist, but I've also worked in the branches in other roles. Uh, and now I'm working as a technical services manager here in WA. Having his own role, I actually work through the agronomy team. A fair bit of time actually coaching and working with our agronomists to make sure that the quality of information that they're providing our clients is most up to date and current. Wasn't lucky enough to grow up on a farm, so as a kid used to spend a lot of time on my uncle's farm and kind of fell in love with tractors and machinery and boom sprays fascinated me, so I thought, well, agronomy is a pretty good way to get into that. It's quite nice to walk down the main street and you have people pull you up and say they used to work for elders or their son used to work for elders. They've always provided the service, they've always done the right thing by their clients, so the clients have done the right thing by them. They want someone that not only going to give them advice, but someone they can bounce ideas off. You become almost part of their family, so the more you seem to see people, the more trust they put in you. So whether it's at footy or down the pub on a Friday night, you seem to always bump into someone who knows you, and it's not just all about work, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, a lot of phone calls, a lot of kilometres, a lot of coffee, generally feel a lot of phone calls that aren't agronomy related. There's a lot of questions about when's it going to rain and I uh, am getting quite good at predicting forecasts. Elders nationally has technology demonstration sites across Australia. The idea of them is, is to try and demonstrate the newest technology to clients. It's also handy if there's new products coming onto the market. We get the same with our eyes, our growers get the same with their eyes. We get to test them, see if we can break them and be comfortable with them before we use them on a large scale. We've taken the point of view that we actually want to look after the technology. We want to understand how to make it a sustainable part of our business. Elders keep on introducing farmers to new ideas and being able to so keep on refreshing what's actually out there. It doesn't just focus on the animal production, it doesn't just focus on the cropping production. We're also looking at their finance, what they're doing with their real estate, with their insurance, with all those other areas of the business as well. That's where they see that you know, there's an opportunity to start working with them from the paddock to plate scenario and the succession planning, how are we going to you know, be looking not only today but in five years time and they want a partner to be able to work through that time. It's always pleasing to drive around, look at some crops, see how things are going and then go back and sit down with the wife, the kids, the rest of the family and not just talk about farming in general but life in general. Working in the Abbey Valley in winter is like almost working on a postcard when you go through some places. The beers are generally cold, that's for sure. If you're working as an agronomist with elders, you're thinking about how you're going to be doing that over a length of time. They're not looking for a short term, I'll be here this year and gone next year. They're looking that they can work over their lifetime and in, into their family's lifetime. 